Barnes Travels. It is the first vlog of 2022 and I am not in Orlando for it. Uh, I am actually in Delray Beach, Florida. So this is South Florida. And I am at the Murakami Gardens and Museum. This was started in the late 70s and has been around ever since. There were actually Japanese farmers that came to Delray area around 1904, but their plans for farming didn't really pan out but they still decided to start this museum here and gardens and keep a history and culture going of Japan. And they also do classes here for language. They do uh, special tea ceremonies and they have a restaurant here. There's just so much to see. I have been here before in the past, so this is not a first visit for me, but I'm very excited to share it with you. So let's go check it out. So before you start, definitely pick up one of these visitor's guides. It kind of shows you a map of the whole area and kind of breaks down a little bit about each part of the Murakami. Here's a map to kind of show you how the park is laid out, but really, it is huge. <laughs> it is, it's a huge area. So definitely bring comfortable shoes and bring your camera because you're going to, want to take lots of photos. Uh, very cute family photos to take here in all the different gardens. Also, they have tons of trash cans around the garden path so you can uh, easily dispose any drinks that you may bring with you. Um, obviously, they prohibit like smoking and vaping. Um, they don't want you to touch anything on the path. So just be respectful while you're here. But everyone I've seen so far has just been in a very peaceful, calm mood. And uh, there are restrooms here available uh, throughout the gardens. The guide also gives a little history to the Murakami, which is the same that's on the website so I will leave the link in the description if you are wanting more information about visiting the Murakami but honestly it's one of my favorite things to do here in South Florida. So because of COVID right now Murakami is not doing the audio guided tours but there is an app on your phone and they'll guide you to that when you get there. I didn't get a chance to eat at the cafe but you can grab a drink before going on your stroll. The gardens are about 16 acres wide so definitely grab a drink before you head in. And it's Florida so it goes without saying but alligators may be and we have seen today present. Not sure if this is for good luck or what, but hopefully a good new year will come. You'll cross two bridges heading into the gardens. It can get a little congested, so make sure to stay to one side of the bridge. Then you'll start your journey through the Morikami Gardens. One of my favorite sounds is hearing the bamboo trees like hit against each other. Let's see, I don't have, there's not too much wind right now, but that sound they make is so nice. Something I love about these gardens too is that they do have a lot of benches as you're walking around. So there's tons of times to just stop relax and also just take in the sights and completely feel zen and thankfully uh, there is a lot of space here so even though the parking lot was pretty full cool, everyone has space and it's all outdoors so I feel like this is a great option in these COVID times if you are wanting a nice visit in South Florida this is a wonderful place to go and there's still so much more to see
and we found the traditional gravestone here for the namesake for the park. It's actually uh, one year after my birthday, so 1989 was when they came here. So there's this one here, and then they have this smaller one right next to it, with it what it looks like a family photo there. And now we are at the bonsai exhibit. So many to see. Let's do it. Ironic that his last name was Potter, right? Right? In training since 1995. The area here where the bonsais are is super wide. Tons of bonsais to see. And they all look so different from each other. If any of you have a bonsai, let me know because I know they're a lot of work, but I am curious uh, how you like having one. <laughs> Little uh, landscaping area here. Lots of bamboo, bamboo to block it off. Lots of bees in that sentence. And it looks like the indoor exhibits are closed right now due to COVID. I do know that they have some uh, classes and things that they may hold inside, but keep in mind there are still some restrictions because of COVID. And now after walking around the full garden path, we are going to head back inside. So masks back up and check out the gift shop because I'm probably gonna buy something there and uh, all great attractions exit in the gift shop. Looks like there's a lot of handmade things for sale here. I really like that. Most likely supporting local artisans or small shops. Looks like Cambodia. I used to want one of these so bad back in the day. But uh, alas, I don't have one. Japanese windbells. Looks like some of them are in the shape of animals. This one's an owl. They have all kinds of chopsticks and I think I'm probably gonna get some of these because they're just too cute to pass up. And tons of options. They also have some books here which are really educational. <laughs> Japan is definitely on the uh, travel bucket list of places that I would like to go. I think everything would just be super magical over there. Maybe one day. They've got beautiful ceramic bowls in here. Love the colors on these. Definitely reminds me of the uh, shop in Epcot, in the Japan area. There's also tons of snacks. They've got uh, Pretz Harvest, never heard of those. Tons of Pocky, different flavored Kit Kats. I'm gonna get the raspberry one. But I love the different kinds of snacks to see. It's always fun. <laughs> And thank you for joining me here at the Maury Carmley Gardens in Delray Beach. I was really excited to share this place with you because I've been here a few times and I really enjoy coming here. Uh, and I haven't been here in so long, so it was nice to revisit, walk around outside and take in the beautiful sights. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and leave comments if you have questions about Morikami. And I will see you next time on Lauren's Travels.